thank you so much for joining here on ET now and we are you know interacting because we want your opinion on how market has reacted to this long term capital gain taxation. Do you think that this market is reacting only to long term gain taxation and also do you think the timing of this uh, policy has gone completely wrong looking at uh, what has happened to global markets? Yeah, I, I actually want to make a couple of points uh, for your viewers and for investors in general <clears throat> that A, uh, you know, we are very much interconnected with what, what goes on globally. And globally, markets have corrected anywhere between 7 to 9%, whether you look at the Asian markets or the US market. Uh, the Nifty has corrected about 6% so far. And um, obviously, the mid cap and small caps have uh, corrected more than that, somewhere in the region of 9 to 10%. But this is not out of line with what's going on globally. And so from that perspective, I just want to once again reassure uh, market participants and investors that this is a, a correction which was uh, probably overdue. Um, as you know, a lot of uh, market participants, fund managers, analysts, et cetera, have been talking about markets having run up quite a bit over the last several months and years, and that uh, correction was expected, and that fundamentals were not in line with what uh, the multiples were in the market. And so I don't think it should come as any surprise to anyone that there has been some correction in the market. And it is in line with uh, what is going on globally as well. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't attribute this correction to the long-term capital, ga capital gains uh, tax that was, uh, that was instituted in the budget. In fact, that's uh, the reason exactly pointed out by uh, Finance Secretary also, Vikram. Vikram, one of the reasons, uh, you know, some of the participants globally are talking about uh, when it comes to, you know, significant fall in U.S. market is what happened because of program trading. So, a lot of machine trading is taking place and I'm sure, you know, you are completely into understanding of that fact. And because of such large moves, means we come to know that how, uh, uh, how uh, you know, precarious this machine trading or algo trading is when parameters get triggered. And then you see huge fall taking place. What risk management, you know, NSC is taking in place in order to ensure that this cascading effect of algo trading doesn't lead to, you know, significant falls in market. So that's the other point I wanted to make that from a market risk perspective, I think people need to understand that uh, our margining systems are functioning absolutely normally. Uh, the settlement system is absolutely normal. Over the last uh, three, four days with the correction in markets, uh, there has been no problem in collecting additional margins wherever people have had to put up additional margins. And the settlement has also been absolutely normal. So from that perspective, uh, everything is, is functioning uh, normally and there is no real systemic risk from a uh, margining perspective or from a risk management perspective. Now, <clears throat> you know, as you know, our risk management systems are actually quite strong relative to global risk management systems. And our margining systems are also uh, a lot more proactive than what exists in most other parts of the world. Uh, also, recently, uh, there was uh, additional margin requirements that have been instituted uh, on certain types of positions and certain types of clients, and that has also been functioning quite normally. So there is proactive risk management that um, uh, the regulator and exchanges uh, do based on discussions and based on a view on where risk is developing in the markets, and that is all healthy in the, in the, in the best interests of markets. Vikram, this may sound, you know, very small issue for which I am asking, you know, MD and CEO of uh, National Stock Exchange this question, but a lot of viewers and a lot of uh, trader uh, community had faced this problem that when market gap, uh, there is a big opening, whether gap up or gap down, their position comes under severe risk management pressure and automatically their uh, positions get squared off before even broker get a time to inform them and they could arrange the fund in say 5 minutes, 10 minutes and before that their position gets square off and then market moves higher. And then there is a lot of you know complaints which comes against broker that you know why did you square off my position without informing me. How, what, I don't know what mechanism would be in place but what is your message to such investors who have these grievances that brokers don't ask them before squaring off their position. 
No, look, I don't want to get into the specifics of what situation you're describing, but the the margining system and what brokers need to do and what clients need to do is fairly well understood. And uh, from that perspective, if uh, the broker takes uh, certain action because he's required to take certain action to square off a position, if margin hasn't been put up, then that is the right thing to do from a risk management perspective. So I would just uh, say that investors need to familiarize themselves with what the regulations are, what needs to be done from a margining perspective, what the broker is required to do in the event that uh, he needs to act if additional margins are not put up. And then obviously, if, if there is a full understanding of the system, then there wouldn't be any such complaints or any, any disconnect in terms of why the broker has acted in a certain way. So one other point I would like to make to your viewers, because, uh, you know, the positive thing that has happened uh, over the last couple of years is that uh, the flows into domestic mutual funds have been very strong. And therefore, that has been actually a, a positive trend in terms of people uh, allocating money systematically into uh, funds through the SIP process. And uh, the point I want to make is that uh, the reason why that is a positive trend, and I hope that even through a uh, downtrend in the market, people stick with their SIPs, is because SIPs uh, is a healthy trend because it's not trying to time the market. So people have to invest through cycles and people have to recognize that uh, the equity markets are not uh, risk-free. I mean, they come with risk. But if you invest through cycles, that the equity market as an asset class has provided substantially higher returns than any other asset class. So my hope is that people who over the last couple of years uh, who have invested in SIPs will continue to uh, invest in SIPs through the cycle, even if there is a downtrend in the markets, because that is the purpose of the SIP. But uh, let's chat a bit more about uh, the LTCG introduction, uh, LTCG tax introduction. As the chief of India's largest stock exchange, do you believe that it is fair for investors? And what is your overall view on, uh, on the guidelines uh, around the taxation? I don't actually want to comment on um, uh, the government's decision on LTCG. They've made the decision. I think they've done it after taking into consideration uh, all the pros and cons of uh, what it means from a market perspective, what it means in terms of different asset classes and how they get treated, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think the markets will take it, uh, uh, take it in their stride and move on because at the end of the day, uh, India as an investment des uh, destination over the medium to long term will continue to remain attractive, given the uh, the strength of the uh, economy uh, over the medium medium to long term and the, and the macroeconomic. Uh, policies and the structural changes that have been put in place. So I don't, I don't think uh, people should um, dwell too much on on this phenomenon beyond a point. And I am pretty sure that the markets will also build that in and uh, and move on, taking a medium to long term view. Okay, Vikram, thank you for joining us. We are really running short of time and you also want to go. So I would have asked you about what's your plans for commodities because that's a big thing which you know many people are uh, waiting for NSA to launch. But some other day, thank you so much.